watched this. Well, we were expecting to go to the light middleweights next, which would have been Mokadan Makauri of Russia up against Georgi Navshoshvili of Georgia, but they are not emerging. The middleweights are emerging. Alexei Stepanov followed by Mirko Sarchevich. So I shall hand over to you for the intro to this one, Ollie, and see if I can find out what has happened to that light middleweight bout. Well, the UBC European Schoolboys champion Alexei Stepanov of the Ukraine making his way to the red corner after a dominant performance in the semi final against the Turkish fighter Halil Dogru. One of the favourites of the tournament, Stepanov, quarter finalist in the last UBC European Juniors Championships. It's his second appearance in the competition. He is a formidable fighter out of the Ukraine, but Mirko. Dasevich of Montenegro, the winner of the Montenegro Cup. Just about getting through on a split decision against Hamlet Adamian of Armenia in the semi-final. It's a very even contest, as the split decision would suggest. There's nothing really exceptional that caught the eye of Sasevich, just a good all-round fighter in that semi-final. You get the feeling, though, that with the weight of expectation on Stepanov and, and how he performed against his Turkish opponent in the semi-final, that it will be the Ukrainian that is considered the favourite as he has a last stretch off in his corner before getting the check over and the gum shield in from the officials. And the Montenegrin in the blue corner, just a last shake off of the arms and a quick check as well. So that light middleweight final is going to come as our final fight of the session. So we'll go from the middleweights into the light heavyweights and then the heavyweights and then back to the light middleweights. They've just jigged around the order. I don't know exactly what the reason for that is. It doesn't particularly matter. What we do know is that we'll finish tonight with a fight involving a Georgian in Georgi Natrosh Philly against Mokadam Makari. But anyway, here's the middleweight final. Yes, we have the Ukrainian stepping off in the all red trunks and top coming out of the red corner of course and Sasevich the Montenegrin in all blue and the Ukrainian the initial aggressor nice left hand as they came out of the clench there though from Sasevich needs to be on his toes though the Montenegrin just because in the early exchanges Stepanov seems to be quite aggressive and keen to quickly get his way forward was down low looking to the body but he left his head very exposed as he came in there stepping off again little right hand just fluttering towards the body from stepping off he seems to be going down there a fair bit in this first 50 seconds or so that was a nice left hand coming the other way from Sasevich he keeps on getting tagged by the aggressive Ukrainian in this first round or so left finding the way through from Sasevich just for a moment there that Stepanov walked almost into as he came forward that's a lovely right uppercut as well after the first two shots missed but his persistence paid off as he kept on coming forward and, and keeping those legs moving and just getting his opponent on the heels again nice right jab from the Southport Montenegrin And again, a right that just catches the side of the face. It's a good reply with the left, though, from Stepanov. Final 10 seconds of this first round. Both exchanging from their leading hands. A touch of gloves, and the first round is in the books. I'd say on the balance of it that Stepanov was the aggressor. We'll maybe get the judge's decision on that one as opposed to Sasevich, and that's the way it looked. Stepanov eager to get forward. It just took a long time for Sasevich to really start landing some shots, but he did towards the end of that round. It was a clear Stepanov round, though. It's, it's interesting to watch him fight because you won't see a more committed fighter than him. And what I mean by that is that when he attacks, he completely commits to it. If he misses with the first punch, with the second punch, even with the third, he will keep coming forward, keep coming forward until he lands one. And that makes it quite difficult to counter. That short right hand he landed was a good example. He almost swung himself off his feet with the left hand, which missed. But that left him with his weight all over to his right hand side. And in the perfect 
position to throw that right hand, which he did. He will just keep throwing until he catches up with you. And Sarcevic has got to try and find an answer to it. They need their distance before we start round two, but we do eventually get it underway. So there's a bit to be done then from the Montenegrin in blue. A little right jab. And they exchange jabs. That's a lovely left coming round the side from Stepanov. Going underneath, gets a right to the body, then a clubbing left round the top as well. Another one, two lands. And those shots just keep on coming and do eventually catch. That left just working the right hand side of the head of his opponent. And Sasevich again forced to back off, but however much he backs off, Stepanov keeps on moving forward and moving forward. And that's kind of the problem because Sarcevic generally tends to pull back in straight lines and that means that when he gets on the front foot there, Stepanov, and chases him, he can chase him because he knows where he's going. He's, he's going to go back on those rails, basically. He needs to try and step off to the side and, and get off the, the punching line because we saw just a few moments ago Stepanov comes forward. He does a lot wrong technically. The feet cross. He's all over the place, to be honest with you, but he doesn't really... There we go. There we go again. Right on cue. But he ends up on the shoulder there of his opponent, and that makes it very difficult to counter because he doesn't get off the line. The two exchanging pops before the dance begins again. As we wait for the Ukrainian to push, and he was caught by a left, but he certainly got a left at the exact same time under the jaw of the Montenegrin Sasevic. Once again, feeling the brunt of some blows that came after that. Right to the body, then leading with the left, and even when he gets in the clench, he's just throwing a couple of little right hands into the side of the head. And we are done and dusted for round two. And again, the Ukrainian, you would feel, has done enough to take the round. Well, three of the judges, three of the judges have gone Sarcevic in in that round he did better in that round he, he did land some some decent shots a stiff left hand as he was just backing up and managed to catch Stepanov on the on the way in but it didn't seem to be too much difference between the opening round and the and the second round to me so maybe slightly surprising that Sarcevic has got quite such a a big piece of that round what it means is that he's still in it because there are three scores of 19 apiece he needs all of those to go his way in the final round to win this. Stepanov is open. He is there to be picked off. That's that's for sure. And I think he maybe did tire a bit in that second round, which brought Sarcevic into it a little bit more. So this one, this one's still up for grabs, although Stepanov in the driving seat. He needs one of those drawn cards. Stepanov immediately leading with the left underneath the jaw as he steps straight back into the action once again. Lovely left coming around the outside as well after the initial right just put his defences down of Sarcevic and allowed him to get caught heavily too with it. A little right jab coming back from the Montenegrin fighter in blue. Stepanov swinging for the body once more. Did that a few times in the first round in particular. And right jab again coming in from Sarcevic. Caught him a couple of times there in that little barrage and just the head ducking down of Stepanov for a moment, just giving the sense of ascendancy slightly for Sarcevic. Both have landed their shots in this first minute of the final round. Stepanov using that left hand to move the right arm away and then stepping forward once again, almost going across his opponent slightly. Another left comes round the side from the man in red. The Hefty thud that catches on the side, and that's more of a hug in the end rather than a punch. The Ukrainian again going from left to right with that left hand across his opponent's body. Catches Sarcevic with the left. Also took a little blow himself, though, once more for stepping in. His head is so open when he moves in. The right jab again from Sasevich. 
He's got to do more, Sarcevic, I think, in this final round, and he's running out of time because he'll have known that there were three cards there he, he needed, and he hasn't really gone out to try and grab this round by the scruff of the neck, whereas Stepanov has. That's kind of the way he fights 24 hours a day, to be honest with you, but I think that Sarcevic needed to, to give us a bit more in that final round because the chances of him turning around, turning those three drawn cards into winning cards, He'll be fortunate if he manages to do that with all three because I thought that was a, a Stepanov round myself. Not a massive amount in it, but he just seemed to want it a bit more, went after it a bit more. And yes, he's clumsy and he misses quite a lot, but he also gets through quite a lot too. And Sarcevic, I just didn't think did all that much in that final round, to be honest with you. There's a big smile and a hug coming from Sarcevic's corner there. So we'll see how the judges will score this. He certainly feels like he's got it. I think both fighters probably do. And Sarcevic and his corner can't believe it, but I think that is the right decision that Stepanov, the Ukraine, takes the gold medal. The Montenegro camp aren't very happy about it at all, really. Well, it's 3-2, and four out of the five judges have gone to start Sarcevic in that final round, and the one in the middle there has gone to Stepanov, and I think it's that score in the middle that has given him the victory, basically. It's that single round score in the middle, his way, that has given him the win on the split, 3-2. Personally, I think it was a close fight, but I thought Stepanov did do more. Sarcevic of the two is, is probably... He's the more technically correct boxer. He's the more aesthetically pleasing boxer. Stepanov does do a lot wrong. He is a bit of a, an 